It's part of being a wildlife conservation officer. I expect that I'm going to get a report or two every year and maybe have to capture a bear. Most of Pennsylvania is bear country, but not everywhere. Lancaster County and bears really are not a good mix. Um, people here are not going to be used to bears. They don't know what to do or what not to do. So on Thursday, when someone in Leola reported a black bear in their backyard, a big black bear. It took eight of us to lift him and put him into the trap. WCO Greg Graham says when the 550 pounder was first spotted up in a tree, it took two tranquilizer darts just to get it woozy. We pushed him out of the tree with a long stick. The guy out of the tree, once he was on the ground for 15 or 20 seconds, he got up and scrambled away. Uh, still in the backyard, you know, in a drunken state. Two more darts put the bear in a deep sleep. Tags in its ears indicating it had been caught before and that its visit to Lancaster County followed a lengthy itinerary. Determined that he had been captured on May the 20th uh, in northern Adams County after damaging some property. The officer caught him there and then relocated him to northern Perry County. Um, and that's how he, f somehow he found his way here from northern Perry. Approximately 70 miles. Not unusual for a young bear establishing home turf, but for a 15-year-old, it's a hike. Now moving again, relocated to the Stony Valley area of Dauphin County. That's Game Lands 211, which is our second largest game lands in the state, 44,000 acres of prime bear habitat.